Hi you guys, good morning. God, my hair is so greasy, but it's fine. The day has finally arrived. I'm <laughs> I'm finally going to dye my hair pink. Uh, I've been waiting for this day for so long. I'm so happy. God, I look rough. I just woke up, can you realize? Uh, so yeah, now I'm going to get into the shower. I'm so excited. Come on, come on, we can do this. Let's shower together. <laughs> no. Now, if you Bora, 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 Bora. I mean, I still do, if I'm going to be honest. Bend is so late. Have you seen that commercial, Steven? No. Nobody has seen it. I'm so, it. I'm like the last fucking white rhino. I'm so old. <laughs> and I only... <laughs> Okay guys, I think I'm done with the color hair dye part of this video. Right now, uh, we're going to do like a DIY thing together because, and let me show you. Okay, these you guys are my favorite pairs of shoes. Um, as you can see, they're very well loved, but the other day, I think a month ago, the shoelace broke. Broke, I know it's not the word. But it basically just like fell off and I was super sad because I love these shoes so much but I couldn't just like say goodbye to them because look at them, they're still functioning. These are my only pairs of trainers and I thought I should give them a good wash. So right here I have a toothbrush, toothbrush and some baking soda and I also bought a new pair of um, shoelaces and I'm super happy because I'm reusing these very well loved shoes and I can take them with me to Tokyo. So let's do this.
We're so hungry, you guys. So hungry. We're a supermarket, base place on earth. We just found peanut butter and marmalade jam. And this is our life savior, by the way. We open Google Translate. And the cool thing about Google Translate is that if you take a picture, you can actually translate, translate live all the ingredients. So if you're allergic to something, you can, um, see the ingredients it's Google Translate it's in Spanish but it's in English <laughs> but it's super super handy in case you go to a place in which you don't know the language it's amazing we're now at the granola section and I think we're going to buy some dinner later here
Hi guys, I'm so happy because I finally finished um, this week's video for you last week's video. I don't, I don't know. It's 9 p.m. and now Ed and I are going to have dinner. I want to show you very quickly what I bought. I mean, not everything because I don't want to bore you guys. Uh, but Ed and I found this vegan curry at the grocery shop, at the supermarket. And we're going to try this right now. Um, and we also bought some rice. Um, have you seen a can of corn as tiny as this one? Look at this bastard. It's the tiniest thing ever and has like an opener. This is amazing. Uh, so we're going to have uh, some rice and curry. And we also bought some delicious beer. This beer, my loves, is the most delicious thing ever. If you can buy, if you can drink beer and if you can buy beer. Please give it a go. It's Ed and I's favorite. And I also bought some... Can you can you see how much I love corn? I don't know why it's my obsession with corn, but I just... <laughs> and also, have you seen... This is like the cutest soy milk I've ever seen in my entire life. By the way, uh, Kikoman is a safe bet for vegans because it's only what I am aware. I don't know if this is completely true, but is um all of their brand is um soy milk so if you're in the hunt for like some soy milk or if you have like lactose intolerance this is an amazing thing and also most of the um, sweet bean um candy no sweets no what is the name cakes are vegan as well um let me see if i can focus the there you go so these sweets are vegan as well i am trying to write a travel journal with all of the um things that i know about vegan things that you can eat and do when you're <laughs> here in tokyo i know it's kind of tricky when you don't know the language amazing edamame so that's what i'm drawing trying to do like gather all the information i know about vegan things and things that you can eat and do um <laughs> i don't know if my making sense anyway let's just cook this very quickly so i can eat Pero son dos sabores diferentes. Ah, ¿te vamos a los dos curry? Sí, pues. ¿O tú quieres hacer uno nomás? Hago ah, uno entonces. No sé cuánto es. Bueno, no me voy. Tiene que a ver. ¿Tenía el, el, el curry por ahí? Este es. Ah, como una persona. Sí, pues. Ya, no, entonces hagamos uno en un sartén y el otro en otra hueá. <risa> ah, buena. <risa> <risa> Yo, esa, esa canción primero existió. Y después yo allí se la adueñó. ¿Cómo es la weá?
tell you guys good morning today is Saturday <laughs> God is so hard <laughs> uh, time is hard right now um, and Ed and I are on our way to a cafe called Cafe Asan um, last night I googled cafes where you can study and draw and basically no one can kick you out for hours and I was really craving to draw and Ed was craving to read there you go so <laughs> we're now on our way I am so happy I can finally draw <laughs> Hi guys, it's editing friend. Um, I just realized that I barely talked in this vlog so far. When I was recording, when I was filming the whole thing, I didn't realize how quiet I was <laughs> until now where I'm editing. So I hope you don't mind that I'm so quiet. Um, yeah. I look hi guys uh, how are you as you can tell by my voice I've been sick for the last 48 hours today's Monday I'm just boiling some amazing water because we're going to do coffee today uh, the last time Ed and I came to Japan we made the tiny little mistake of not bringing our own coffee maker and that the result in us buying lots of like coffee cans and plastic and we felt terrible about it afterwards so this time we decided to ask our friend Rodrigo for his Aeropress, Aeropress, I don't know how the hell you pronounce that but it's basically a really portable and nice coffee maker god my voice is just so sexy right now As you can tell, grinding the coffee was kind of a pain in the ass, but it's totally worth it, my loves. Now I'm going to make coffee and some breakfast because today we're going to Hara, Harajuku, uh, which is which is like at the fashion fashion area of Tokyo, uh, and it's placed in Shinjuku. And there's tons of galleries and places that I would love to check out, and also I'm going to help add. There, here is Ed, yay! yay. You're not in focus. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to help Ed with a shoot film that he's going to film right now. So, oh yeah, baby. Breakfast. Yay, thank you so much for going. Okay, let's see breakfast. You're officially in Japanese. Oh, cool. Ed got me some like um, masks because here usually people, when they're sick, they put a mask on. I wouldn't normally do this in the US, but I don't want to be the res the res uh, disruptive tourist. So I think it was going to be more respectful on my end to wear this face mask. Is it called a face mask? Because it sounds like I'm putting I think it's a, a mask. A mask. Thank you. I'm going to put this mask on because I don't want a contagious, be a con contagious, <laughs> contagious person. Anyway, I'm hungry. Let's see. 
It's editing Fran once again. I don't know if you can listen, but Eddie's showering. Anyway, um, I just realized I haven't done a proper stationary art supply haul. I actually have the bag right here with me, but the video is already, it's already a half an hour long. And I don't know if you want to watch a half an hour long plus video. So please let me, let me know if you would rather watch an entire video just dedicated to what I bought or if I just include this haul in the next week's video. Does that make sense? Please let me know what to do. I have no idea what to do. I'm sick. I still have a call. I can't think. I can't make a decision on my own. <laughs> oh my God. Please let me know what you would like to see. Uh, yeah. <laughs>